Hi everyone, welcome on Devish Tech channel. So in this video, we will gonna create a REST API endpoint for downloading the files. So basically with help of the REST API endpoint, we will gonna download the files. The file can be anything, your video file, your PDF file, your image file. So in this tutorial, I will gonna help you that how you can create an endpoint for the downloading or any kind of file to the client environment. Suppose you can take example of the YouTube. Now I am creating this video and I uploaded this video on a YouTube server. Now I want to, to see this video to the YouTube website. So basically YouTube website will give me a link with help of that link I am playing this video. Same thing we will gonna do here. So I will generate a link with help of that link we will gonna play the video if the file type is video. So let's start how we can create a REST API endpoint for the downloading a file or viewing the file, okay? So first of all, I will gonna create a new project with help of the npm init. Basically, it's a Node.js project. So I'm using the npm init. And to use npm init, first you have to install the Node.js on your local system. If you don't know how to install it, you can find the link of the Node.js installation on the description. I'm gonna click the enter for the, all the thing and it will gonna create a package.json file over there. Now, the second thing is I have to install the express.js. So here I'm installing the express.js. It will gonna take time till that I'm pausing the video. After installing the express.js, you can see that here I can see the express over here. Now, the second thing is we have to create a new file which is the index.js the file name can be anything i'm just using the index.js as a file name and here we have to import the express.js on our index.js file we tell what this syntax and here we have to import it I'm importing the express.js with help of the express.js we are going to create the rest api endpoint now second thing we have to use the express dot not dot express like this now we have a object of the express on an app now what we have to do that i have, will create a new folder which will be file folder over here okay inside the file folder i will place two video and image so let me paste the video and image so i will use my these two thing first one is add one i will paste it inside the files and this is the gif kind of file i will paste it on a file again and now we have two things inside the file folder I'm gonna make this file folder as a static folder because we wanted to access this file folder using the express.js. So if we make the file folder as a static, then what will happen that inside the file folder, anything will be there, will be accessible using the REST API endpoint. And how we're gonna do it? So let me just create it. Then I'm using this app instance because we imported the express.js inside the express variable. Then we created the express object inside the app and I'm going to use it. And how we will use it? With help of the app.use, I'm going to make this folder as a static. So here, and how we will gonna access this folder with help of the slash file endpoint name. I will show you the demo that how we can access it. Just let me code first. And with help of the express dot static, we can make this folder as a static. So the folder name we have to specify over here, the exact name which we use over here. And with help of that, we made the folder as a static and the, everything is there inside the static file will be accessible through the REST API endpoint. And I'm going to listen the 
express js server on a port 5000 now i am going to start the server with help of the node index.js if you don't know about anything about the rest api then already a video uploaded about the rest api if you don't know about the basic of express.js please watch the basic of the express.js node.js rest api development series i will give the video link on a description again and now our server is started i just have to test it that we can access these two files using the rest api endpoint or not let me go on a browser and uh, right now the server is started on a http colon colon localhost and we provided the port 5000 so let me use the port 5000 and to access the folder we specify the file slash file rest api endpoint name so i'm going to use the slash file rest api end name and if i want to access the this gif file so i have to use the exact name over there the name is dev.gif because the name of this gif file is dev.gif so if i will hit the enter then you can see that we are able to access the gif file using the browser and we can use the same rest api endpoint on our app or a website to access this gif file because now the folder is static and easily accessible using the rest api endpoint now if i want to play the video because i already uploaded a video inside the file folder so again what i have to do that again i had to use the same localhost server this localhost server i am using because it's running in the dev environment if you upload this file on a heroku server or any kind of cloud environment then the server ip address will be there and the port number which you will gonna specify will be there so everything will work fine on a production environment as well and now to access the video file i have to use the same name over there the name is add hyphen one dot m4 v you can check it and if i will hit the enter यदि आप भी सीखना चाहते हैं कि कैसे ऐप बनाएं, जैसे WhatsApp, this video is for my ad and it is on a Hindi, so you can see that the video is not या फिर वेबसाइट बनाना चाहते हैं आप तो जाइए डिस्क्रिप्शन पे और सब्सक्राइब कीजिए। So let me just mute it and I don't want to play the ad again. So you can see that we are able to access these two things, the GIF file. .mvorv file or any type of file can be accessible when we make the folder static using the same REST API endpoint. So the server is localhost as of now and we provided the file REST API endpoint over here to access the static file. So we have to use over there the same thing and the name of the any file can be accessible using this. So in this video we talk about that how we can download or we can show the video or any kind of file using the REST API endpoint. This is a kind of a random video. I'm going to post a new random video on the Node.js topic in the future also. So please stay updated. Please subscribe the channel, like the video and share the video to your friend and help me to grow this channel. Thank you all. Till that, happy coding.